Welcome back again to another episode of Big Red's Isopods. Uh, this week we're going to be taking a look at a species of mine called uh, Armadillidium uh, vulgari Magic Potion. I'm pretty excited about this video. Uh, this is a relatively new species to me and I think I found a way to breed them quite efficiently and I'm wanting to share it with you guys. Alright, so without further ado, let's take a look. So Armandolidium vulgari is a native isopod species to North America and this is the Japanese line uh, magic potion which is um, founded in Japan. There is also a species that was spread uh, of American magic potions but I don't have those. They have this beautiful, um, almost see-through color with yellow and black speckles, which makes them almost look like a magic potion. Well, in my opinion, uh, not everybody has an easiest time with this species as I do. I just happen to decide to move them uh, to a different area and it was actually a colder area, and for some reason, they just started breeding like crazy. They haven't only had one, but multiple egg laying sessions within the last month, and I thought that was just fantastic. I feel like I really need to share that with other people in the, uh, the hobby due to the fact that most people have a relatively hard time breeding these guys or a harder time than other species. This has probably been the easiest Armadillidium uh, vulgari morph that I have had to breed. I have other morphs but I haven't got them to breed quite as efficiently as these guys and I think that it's just fantastic to see so many monkai running around the container um, and the adults doing great, uh, being healthy, and yeah, I just figured I needed to share that with you guys. Now, I think these are by far one of the best isopods to use for the looks. If you want them, um, Keep them as a pet they're just simply gorgeous uh, as you can see they've got beautiful speckling on them they've got almost a magical look to them if i were to imagine a isopod in some sort of magical realm or magical universe this is definitely the isopod i would think you would see yes as you can see they're just just this mystical look to them, which is just magical. That's why they uh, gave them the name Magic Potion, I guess. As a cleanup crew, I can't say they would do as good of a job due to the fact that I tend to find these guys uh, hibernate quite a bit and they do enjoy the colder climate quite a bit. Uh, for breeding purposes and uh, living purposes. So I think it would be best suited if they were mostly just used as a, uh, a pet or as a hobbyist isopod. If you wanted to collect them or just simply have them, they're great for that. Maybe if you had a, some sort of animal that liked the cold more, you could use it as a cleanup crew, but I cannot say that they would do as good job as a lot of the other species that we have in the hobby. I think that Armadillidium vulgari Magic Potion is definitely an isopod that everybody in the hobby should have. If not, they definitely should think about getting some. I definitely am super glad I decided to pick these up at the last Reptile Expo. I would 
definitely give it a shot if you're into collecting isopods or just keeping them in general and i would grab them if you aren't either because they're just that awesome if you want to get into isopods and you're looking for a beginner these ones are pretty hardy as well and they're not gonna perish too quickly on you as long as you have the correct setup uh, sure they're not gonna breed quite as quickly as let's say the porcelios porcelio pronatus or porcelio lavis but they're definitely going to breed relatively quick. Um, as you can see, if you follow the steps I've taken with putting them in a colder climate than the average isopod, then they're going to go crazy and you're going to have lots of babies in no time. for joining me on another episode of Big Red's Isopods. Uh, I hope you guys learned something today and uh, I hope this can help some other people that are in the uh, hobby looking to breed these guys. Uh, anyway, thanks again for watching this week. Uh, we'll see you guys again next week. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and have a great week. Bye.